Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and with iOS 11.4, Apple finally released Messages in iCloud, and that's available on the iPhone and iPad or any iOS device running. 11.4. Now, what that means, if you're familiar with messages, is that everything is in sync. And I know a lot of people have asked me, well, I know that I get messages on my iPhone and sometimes they show up on my Mac or my iPad, but they don't necessarily sync. If you have a new device, unless it's backed up, it won't sync exactly the same. And maybe you started a conversation while this device was off, you finish the conversation here, you go back to your iPad and it's not there. This completely syncs both of these. And I've created all of these different examples to show you. Now, the first thing you need to know is you have to turn it on. You can't just start using it. It's not on by default. So what you'll do is you go to settings, Go to your account here. Once you are in that account, tap on iCloud and you'll get to this page. You'll see here you have messages. You want to flip this switch on and that will activate messages in iCloud. Now the initial sync may take some time and requires Wi-Fi and your power to be plugged in, depending on the amount of storage you have. Apple hasn't really specified this, but I noticed this when I first turned it on on certain devices, such as this iPad, it needed to be plugged in and on Wi-Fi because I have a lot of messages that go back years. So what that means is it pushes all of your data to iCloud and you need to make sure you have enough iCloud storage in order to use this. So if you go to settings and you'll see here, I'm on the two terabyte plan and it's a family plan. So it's shared across multiple devices and I have plenty, so that's not a problem. Now let's take a look at how much storage is actually on iCloud that's using messages in particular. You'll see I have 20.6 gigabytes worth of messages synced to iCloud. So this took some time and here you can see all the different conversations and go into them individually, but 20.6 gigabytes. So remember that. Now let's check the actual device itself and see how much storage is being used on the phone. So if I go to general, I go to iPhone storage and it loaded and you'll see I only have 783.1 megabytes being used on my iPhone directly. So 20.6 gigabytes are stored on the cloud and only 783.1 are stored here. The same is true for the iPad as well and everything's just synced. Now, what that means is all of my messages are here, but maybe I have a conversation that goes back years. So let's just take this one for example, say I have a ton of conversations and I can keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it goes back years and years while only a certain subset or recent messages are set here and stored on your phone. If you need to go back, then it pulls them from the cloud and puts them here. You'll be able to go back years and see them, but to save storage space and to optimize your phone a little bit better, it stores most of that on the cloud. Now, the nice thing about messages in iCloud is that everything is synced. So maybe I'll go to this one here. I'll type the message. Hello. And this is going to give me an error because this isn't a real account, but it will sync over here. So if I go to messages, you'll see hello is already there. I can say hi again over here and it shows up here. Now, again, I can go back and forth all day long and just say hello, go back and forth and they will show up back and forth depending on what you're doing. It doesn't matter what you're saying, if it's an emoji or whatever, it goes back and forth and syncs really quickly. Now, what if I don't want this conversation anymore? If I go back here, I delete it from here, it deletes, it will delete over here and instantly it's gone. So you'll see it's just not there anymore. And that's something that wasn't possible before. Now I can do the same with a new conversation. I can start it over here. It'll be named iPhone 10. Hello. It will give me an error, but it will immediately show up again over here. And it's the same exact thing. So everything is in sync between all of these devices. So that means every conversation and that holds true across any device that I'm signed in with my Apple ID and have messages in iCloud turned on. So that could be 20 devices. It could be two devices or even one just for storage for now. So you'll save a lot of storage. It'll be stored here and 
it's a really convenient feature. Now it's not yet available on the Mac, so hopefully that will be in an update soon, but right now it's on all of these iOS devices that run iOS 11.4. So it's a really convenient feature, and hopefully that helps you get a better understanding of messages in iCloud. If you have any other comments or things to add about messages in iCloud, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.